All right, bro, I hung up, man. This is video number three, and I'm sick of waiting on hold for the Samsung people to pick up, to tell me if I can pick up my order today. Decided to get rid of that elevator music for the time being, because we are talking about this thing right here. This is the Bose, what is, I keep messing up the name, it's the Bose SoundLink Flex Generation 2. Dude, I keep saying it, I, I didn't mess with Bose like that up until I decided to try this thing out. I'm gonna have to get that Bose SoundLink Max. I, dude, I heard it in Best Buy like yesterday for the first time. Psh, that, that thing kind of might be a game changer, it's, it's, but it's expensive retail. It's like 400 bucks. Uh, but right now at the time of this video, it's $300. So that's definitely worth it because that's that puts you in the range of a lot of other speakers. But we ain't here for that right now. We're talking about this joint right here, the Bose SoundLink Flex 2. And we have already compared it to the JBL Charge 5. We have already compared it to the Soundcore uh, Motion 300. We got two speakers left, man. Let's go ahead and compare it to, oh, you know what? Let's do the JBL uh, Flip 6. This right here, JBL Flip 6. This is like one of the ultimate bottle speakers. It kind of, dude, it, it I, I love it. It slides right in the bottle holder, but you still have a little bit of wiggle room. And that's something that I wish, it, I wish it was a little bit thicker. That way it wouldn't jiggle around in there so much. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> Anyways, y'all stop being nasty. Look, man, but it fits wherever you want it to put it, wherever you want to put it, it absolutely fits. Love the lanyard. I wish sometimes it could be a little bit more useful like what Sony has, but it's a grab and go speaker and it punches hard. This thing kicks ass. I'm not even gonna lie. It's the JBL Flip 6. They haven't made six of these things for no reason at all. It's because they are very well made, very great sounding speakers. And this one is, is no exception to the rule, uh, but, you know what? This is something I never talked about in the other two videos. This one can actually stereo pair with an identical Flip 6, or it can actually party up or party boost, whatever JBL calls it, uh, with other like-minded speakers. So you can have a whole bunch of these things hooked up in a room together. Bose ain't quite there yet, man. Bose will only let you stereo pair the SoundLink Flex 2 uh, to another one. And that kind of sucks because I really want to get that SoundLink uh, Max and, and kind of just, you know, maybe put one of these in one room or one area and then have that, that sound like max for that extra feeling sound. But speaking of feeling sound, while they both do a good job, here's another thrashing. The SoundLink uh, Flex 2 actually kind of thrashes the JBL Flip 6 by weight of bass. This thing packs a punch. You look at it, you're like, yeah, that sounds about right, and it's packing a punch. But that's until the SoundLink Flex 2 shows up. This thing has so much more bass, especially when you're cruising around in 30 to 60, maybe even 70 percentile range as far as the volume range goes. Oh man, this thing just thumps so hard. It punches above its weight class, and it really does hang out really well with the JBR, uh, JBL Charge 5. And that's where it just really starts kicking the ass of the Flip 6, and it just demolishes it, especially at higher volumes. Well, they both kind of hang out at the same place at higher volumes. I don't think there's a real clear winner at higher volumes, but when you're listening at moderate ranges, like I said, 30 to maybe 60, pushing it to 70, this one all day. The JBL Flip 6 is very bright compared to this one. This one has a warmer sound without being too warm and soft. It's just an easy listening experience to where you can actually just have it playing in the background and have a nice conversation going without having to say, okay, let me let me turn that down a little bit because it's starting to get on your nerves. And that's something I noticed with pretty much all the JBL speakers coming out of the box stock. And sometimes even if you try to EQ them, they give me a little bit of listening fatigue to where I just kind of, I get tired of listening to it. I keep finding myself turning it down over time, no matter where the last volume level was. And that's just because of, I think the brightness of the sound. Uh, but dude, Bose has mastered it. They, it's just a very conversational speaker where you can just have this for chill music, uh, for ambiance and conversation and stuff like that. But then when you want to just get your groove on and crank it up a bit, you still got room filling sound. Literally, uh, what, what time is it right now? It's 312. My wife, she, she works from home. She took lunch at one o'clock. We went outside on the patio. I slapped this joint on the, uh, on the, on the bar we have outside. And she said that it has such a filling sound. Dude, we're outside on a patio. She's talking about how it has a filling sound. That's because it punches above its weight class and sounds like more than it really is. So I gotta give this one once again 
<laughs> Dude, the JBL fanboys are going to eat me up in the comment section, but I don't really care, man. It is what it is. And this is my personal opinion. The, uh, the Bose Soundlink Flex 2, this thing, it just came on the scene. I know there's a Flex 1, right? I don't know how good that one sounds. I never even tried it. Like I said, I don't really mess with Bose like that. But this thing has, has made me change my mind on a lot of things. So I got to start venturing out there in the speaker world and uh, start trying some of these other brands like Bose. As popular as they are. I just never bothered with them because I, you know, just, dude, you heard my story in my first video about this thing. Like, I, if I, it's like when you eat something and it don't taste good, you're like, nah, every time somebody asks you if you want some more, you'll pass, right? That's how I was with Bose. But now, Bose, I'm back, I'm back. Will you accept me, Bose? Either way, I gotta let you guys hear this sound clip. This is a very short series of videos I'm doing comparing the Bose Soundlink uh, Flex 2 to other speakers. We have, dude, you made it. If you're here, that means you made it through video one, video two, and now we're at the end of video three. We got some sound clips to show you so, or let you hear so you can make up your own mind, but you got one more video in the series and that's this bad boy right here. So listen to those audio clips and when you get done with it, I'll see you in the next video.